Once I have the mouse's position in the lower left corner and it's heading uh, directed north, the next thing I would like to do is set the target location and I would do that by putting a zero here. The only problem is that the values array starts out by printing a zero for every cell of the maze. So even if I'm successful, I won't know it because I won't be able to distinguish the zero that I put in for the target cell from all the other cells in the, the values array or in the maze. Uh, to, to deal with this, what I need to do is initialize the values array so that all of the cells in there are something else. Uh, because our system depends on counting up away from zero, it makes sense to pick a number that's as far away from zero as possible. And because I chose the byte data type when I created the values array, the largest number that I could possibly choose would be 255. Going back to the nano mouse maze class, I can see right here I have the values array uh, in the byte data type, um, but it's not set to anything. And so what I'm going to do is create a function that actually sets the values of that array. I'm going to do it right down here where it says add your code here. So I'm going to type void solve open print ellipse close ellipse and then I could do this a couple different ways and I'll, I'll show you one way that's not terribly efficient and then we'll move on to a better approach. So what I'm doing is I'm saying I'm, I'm going to take the first row of the values array and then the or actually the zeroth row and the zeroth column, and I'm going to set it equal to 255. And then I'll do that for the zeroth row and the first column. And I'll do that for the zeroth row and the second column. Once I've done this, I've changed a few values in the values array. In order to actually apply that or implement that, I need to call the solve function before I print the maze. So I'm going to say maze.solve. And then I should be able to plug in my Arduino, upload the program, open my serial monitor and press the start button and here you can see that 255 has been put in the the zeroth row in the zeroth column first column and second column now I would like to put 255 in every single uh, cell of the maze the method I'm using right now is not terribly efficient I have four rows and six columns. Four times six is 24. I would need 24 lines of code to do this. If I was if I was putting my mouse inside a competition maze, which is 16 rows by 16 columns, then I would have to come up with 256 lines of code to initialize that array. It's this is not going to be uh, efficient, and it's not going to adapt automatically depending on the size of the maze I, I create when I call the maze object. So to come up with a better system I am going to use two loops, a loop within a loop. The first loop is going to loop through all the, ro the rows. And I'm going to go up uh, through each row one by one, incrementing by one right here. And then after I go through each row, I'm going to go through each column. And usually when you do something like this, instead of using i for the next variable, you use j. I can't use i again because 
uh, this loop is within the other loop, so it would actually confuse those two variables. And then I can set the value of each element in each row and each column by saying i j equals 255. To understand how this code works, let's just uh, think through it here for a minute. The first time I go through the first loop, i is going to be 0. Then we're going to go through to the second loop, and j is going to be 0. So it's going to say the values array set the 0th row and the 0th column to 255. And then we're going to go through this loop until we hit every single column in that row. So now j is going to be 1, 0, 1 is 255. And then j becomes 2, so I hit, say, row 0, column 2 is 255. It does this until j hits 5, at which point it's going to jump out of, uh, it's going to go do this line of code, and then jump out of this loop, go back to the uh, outer loop, and i is going to be incremented to 1, and then we start the process all over again. I'll have one row 1, column 0, set to 255. Row 1, column 1, set to 255. So it'll go through the entire me, uh, array with just these three lines of code right here, right there, and right there. To see how this works, let's go back to... I'm going to close the serial monitor here again upload my program, open my serial monitor once again, and run the program again. And here you can see every single uh, cell in the maze has been initialized to 255.